my dear people in this particular problem well as soon as i look at the photograph the picture i can see it's a youtube manometer problem oh fantastic okay let's see oh, oh there you go they are also giving that this is a youtube manometer okay it is filled with a liquid of density rho 1400 kilogram per meter cube so the the liquid they are talking about is this particular gray color liquid yeah so this liquid has got a density of 1400 kilogram per meter cube it is connected to a closed tank containing air and water so it has got air and water and we also know what is the height of the water okay at the closed end of the manometer the closed end is over here so the at the closed end of the manometer the absolute air pressure is 110.3 kilopascal so 110.3 kilopascal that is the pressure over here determine the gauge pressure so there something is connected over here you know so which is applying pressure so calculate determine the gauge pressure for a differential reading of 1.2 meter differential reading my dear people is nothing but the difference between the height of these two columns so it is 1.2 meter yeah and they are also saying that a nearby uh, barometer shows a reading of 775 mm of mercury this is just to tell you what is the atmospheric pressure at that particular instant yeah that's it okay now first let us consider the manometer yeah just the manometer and then determine the pressure of air in the tank let us just determine what is the pressure of air in the tank yeah so <clears throat> how to do that so if you think of it my dear people the pressure of air in this tank yeah until here the pressure of air in this tank is equal to the pressure of the liquid plus the absolute pressure do you see this pressure this pressure over here plus the pressure due to the entire liquid so all these would be exerting pressure on this air that is what i have written pressure of air absolute plus the pressure uh, in the manometer would be the pressure of the air in the tank yeah so all that i'm doing my dear people is that i'm just substituting everything that we know we know that the air uh, absolute pressure is kilopascal so i've written it in pascal so 10 power 3 yeah plus rho we know the density is 1400 g is 9.81 times the height is the differential height which is 1.2 yeah if i substitute all of them in a calculator i get the pressure in the tank to be 126.8 kilopascals or 126.8 into 10 power 3 pascals or newton per meter square so now i have found out what is the pressure at this particular air yeah so now think of it my dear people think of it yeah <coughs> the pressure experienced at the gauge would be equal to the pressure of air plus the pressure due to water am i correct or not yes okay now if we can pr uh, find the absolute pressure at the gauge let's find that out shall we yeah now consider the pressure experienced at the gauge yeah pressure absolute gauge equals the pressure in the tank plus the pressure in the water tank well or the water in the tank yeah so all that i do is that i substitute everything we know we already know this one we've just found out here and the pressure due to the water would be rho g h rho is thousand yeah because this is water don't confuse this is not 1400 1400 is this liquid the gray one yeah so thousand times gravity is 9.81 times height the height of the water column is 0.6 meter yeah if i substitute all these put it in the calculator and then 
I get the value pressure, absolute pressure in the gauge. Yeah, otherwise the total pressure in the gauge is 132.7 into 10 power 3 pascals. Yeah, this is the, um, what I said, this is the pressure that I am getting. People, remember what I said, G, P, <laughs> A, P. Do you remember the song? Yeah, G, P, A, P. Yeah, so remember, gauge pressure, atmospheric pressure would be the absolute pressure. So don't get confused. Yeah, now we have the absolute pressure, but we have been asked to find the P gauge pressure. Yeah, so that is what we are going to be finding. So in order to find the gauge pressure, we need the atmospheric pressure. Yes, remember, G, P, <laughs> A, P. Yeah, so we have the absolute pressure now. Absolute pressure we have. Yeah, and if we need the gauge pressure, we need the atmospheric pressure and in order to find the atmospheric pressure because gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure equals absolute pressure. Yeah, do you remember that song? Yeah, <laughs> if not have a look at the lecture, the recorded lecture that we had. No, the lectorial that we had uh, on Monday morning and uh, you'd be able to know what is uh, GPAP, yeah. Okay, anyway, my dear people, how to find the atmospheric pressure? Can I just take it to be one bar? Well, if nothing is given, we can always take it to be one bar. But then here, we have been given that, uh, the what is it? There is the pressure atmospheric uh, is the, ba the barometer reading has been given to be 775 mm of mercury is it not so with that if i substitute the uh, if i substitute that in the equation yeah to find the atmospheric pressure we know rho of mercury yeah 13600 because we have been said in the if you look at the question it said 775 mm of mercury that is what was uh, written yeah and uh, so mercury density is 13600 9.81 is the gravity and 775 millimeter in what is it in meter is 775 into 10 power minus 3 so here we have the what is it the uh, atmospheric pressure now we have we have the absolute pressure from the previous calculation we have the atmospheric pressure yeah, if we subtract it, we'll get the gauge pressure. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, about one about one bar, not exactly one bar. Yeah. Um, so the gauge pressure, we know GPAP. Yeah, <laughs> gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure is absolute uh, pressure. Yeah, we already know the absolute gauge pressure. Otherwise, absolute pressure in the gauge. Yeah. And we just found out the atmospheric pressure. So gauge pressure would be this goes to the other side and becomes negative. And if I substitute in the equation, I get the gauge pressure equals 29.29 kilonewton per meter square or 29.3 kPa kilopascals. Yeah, this is the gauge pressure fantastic